Hello out there YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I am Tiffany and I'm here to share some Tiffany's tips with you. If you haven't had the chance already, please go and check out my website at www.tipstipsforwellness.com where I share everything pregnancy and postpartum related. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what goes on at your first prenatal visit. Um, it's different for different providers. Some include some things and some take out some things so i'm just going to give you like the basics as to like what to expect so why is it important for you to have prenatal visits prenatal visits are a way for you to keep tabs on what's going on with you and your baby just to make sure that your pregnancy is progressing the way that it should if you run into any kind of uh, problems as far as like how the baby's growing or if you're gaining enough weight or if the baby's having any kind of abnormalities or if you're having any kind of conditions or anything like that that could potentially affect you and the baby during the pregnancy um your prenatal visits are a way for you to keep tabs on that so it's important to keep those okay it's important to do that your first prenatal visit is going to take place around your eight to ten week mark they like for you to come in around that point because typically you can't really see anything on the ultrasound um before that point i mean you can you might see a little tiny speck mm, uh, or something like that with the ultrasound usually around six weeks but at eight weeks they're really able to see and they're able to see like a little heartbeat and a little flutter and all that good stuff so they like for you to be a little further along i know a lot of people want to call in and make their appointments like right when they pee on a stick and you see a positive result it's like yes let's go in but they really don't want your first prenatal visit to be until you're like eight weeks or so now you will have a visit before that it's typically like the confirmation of pregnancy just to confirm that you are pregnant so you go in you'll do a pregnancy test um and then after that they'll set up the actual prenatal visit so what happens at your prenatal visit um, a lot happens okay so they're going to go over your medical history they're going to find out everything that's going that is going on or has gone on um, with you they're going to go over the history of your the father of the baby and they're going to also want to know like family history if there's any history of any kind of um down syndrome any kind of genetic uh anything that's going on in the family they're going to want to know that information because you know if there is something that has gone on in the past i want to make sure that it doesn't or make sure that they're able to look out for it or watch for it with this pregnancy. Um, you're going to get your blood pressure, your weight, those typical things. You're also going to have to probably get a pap smear. Now, it depends. I know some doctor's offices can do the pap smears like at the confirmation of pregnancy, but sometimes they'll wait and hold off and do it at the actual prenatal visit. So you have like an annual exam at this visit as well. Um, another thing that's going to happen, they're going to want to know the first day of your last menstrual period. They're going to know if you've had any kind of surgeries, any kind of hospitalizations. Um, they're just going to want to get a full history of everything that's ever gone on with you. So you can expect that. Um, another thing they're going to want to do is blood work. Now, you're going to have to have a lot of blood work done at this visit. Typical things they're going to check for, they're going to run like STD checks, gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, trick. they're going to check for HIV, syphilis, hepatitis. They're going to check for all that. Um, sometimes they're even going to do um, the genetic screens. I don't know if you've all or anyone has heard of like the Harmony or Panorama test that they do. So those tests can check for things such as Down syndrome um, and things of that nature as well. But these tests also can check for the sex of the baby. And I know a lot of people are just like, oh my God, I want to go ahead and get this Panorama test done or this Horizon test done. Um, the genetic test come because they don't want to wait and determine you know, the sex of the baby. A good thing that you're going to want to do is check with your insurance company because sometimes it's not covered by insurance okay um so that's a, you know another test that they may do but with those genetic testing you might want to just check with your insurance company before you go ahead and commit i know it's exciting because you could probably find out ahead of time like what you're having and i know a lot of people you know that's a, another deciding factor as to why they usually don't wait till like that 20 week anatomy screen because you can find out sooner um but like i said check with your insurance company to see if that's covered um or if they even offer it if, at your doctor's office um, let's see. They're going to check your iron level also just to see, you know, if you have any kind of anemia or anything like that. Um, your doctor is going to want to make sure that you're taking like prenatal vitamins, um, and things of that nature. If you are smoking, if you're doing heavy drugs or drinking and things like that, your doctor is probably going to counsel you on stopping and the reasons why you need to do that. Um, also at this visit, it's a good time to ask any kind of questions that you need to ask. So typically I know we show up at the doctor's office and we're there and the doctor's like, so do you have any questions for me? And we're just like, uh, yeah. So before you go to this visit, 
get you a notebook or a piece of paper, sit down and figure out, okay, what kind of questions do I want to ask my provider? You know, what kind of things or what kind of relationship do I want to have with my provider? You know, make sure that they're open um, to different things. Just remember that this is your pregnancy. Okay. You can ask as many questions as you want to. If you get to your doctor and you're not feeling comfortable, you know, uh, with the bedside manner or anything like that, Feel free to, you know, find another provider. Don't feel like just because, you know, this is your first prenatal visit and this is the doctor that you saw first, you have to stick with that doctor. If you're not comfortable, which you should be, because this is your pregnancy and you want it to be as comfortable as possible, your body's going through so many changes. You're going through so many changes. You're preparing for such a huge um, event in your life and you want to be or have a provider that's going to be working with you, you know, and not against you. You don't want anyone that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Um... They're probably going to go over types of medications that are safe to take during your pregnancy. Um, and if there are any medications that you're currently taking that aren't safe to take, they're probably going to figure out a way to, you know, when you off of those or figure out another alternative to that. Um, you're going to probably meet with insurance. I'm not sure. Like I said, each provider's office does different things, but you're going to meet with the um insurance people or the new OB coordinator and they're going to go over you know what all is covered under your insurance plan what you may have to pay out of pocket they're going to also let you know what hospitals that you can have the possibility of delivering at um, I know with my last pregnancy there were two hospitals that I was could have gone to um, and you can decide you know which one is closer to you which one you'd be able to get to um, they're also going to let you know like what to expect like week by week. So when you first go to your first prenatal appointment, after that visit, you're going to go every four weeks unless something is going on. So you're going to go every four weeks in your first trimester. Then when you get to your second trimester, you're going to go every two weeks. And once you make it to your third trimester, you'll be going every week. Um, and at some point, you're going to rotate out and you're going to probably start seeing other providers in the practice. The reason being is because labor you go into labor your baby decides when you do that most of the time unless you're being induced so you have like a scheduled c-section sometimes your water will break sometimes your doctor may not be able to get to you in time so it's best to know the other doctors in the practice so that way once you get to the hospital and you see another doctor coming you're not surprised that has happened plenty of times before where you go into labor and you get to the hospital and you know you get in the room and just like wait a minute this is not the doctor that I you know have been seeing these past nine months who are you and that adds extra pressure um so it's always a good thing to you know meet the other providers in the office just so that way you won't have any surprises it's crazy I've had to deal with that before where we have patients come in and they're just like you didn't tell me that I was going to see XYZ doctor or that doctor was going to be there. And, you know, it's the whole thing. Um, so that's another thing that's going to happen. So those are just typically the things that happen when you go to your first OB visit. Um, like I said, make sure that you take the time to write down any kind of questions or anything that you want to ask your provider. Um, feel free, you know, to ask anything, you know, how they feel about you having a natural delivery or how they feel about you having a doula in the room with you or, you know, just whatever you can think of, you know, just feel free to ask that because it's, it's really important that you all establish um, a respectable relationship, you know, in the beginning, because this is a person that's going to help you bring another human life into this world. So I am Tiffany. I just wanted to share those tips with you really, really quickly. Um, I'll be back next week with another video. My freaking ring light went out on me. So this video is going to be kind of weird, like not as bright as I would like it to be. I um, have to get another light. So forgive me for that. But until next week, I hope everyone has a great week. I hope everyone is staying safe and I'll see you next time.